Good morning. Welcome to Juan Arliwag Memorial High School Senior High School Supreme Student Oath Taking Ceremony. To start, let us show our respect and patriotism to our country as we sing the Philippine National Anthem. <laughs> Of course, we should not forget to give our thanks and ask the guidance of our Creator. So let us invoke His presence as we utter our prayers through a video presentation. Let us all bow our head. Dear God, the spring of life and light you have called us, your children, to serve your will with open hearts. We are grateful for the opportunity to gather in your name. And be of service to others. Grant us the light of your spirit to lead the way. As we fulfill our responsibilities for the betterment of education in this country. Using our puso, may you grant to us the purest of intentions and the burning desire to spread love to our fellow countrymen. The love you selflessly showered to us is the kind of love we want flowing within us so we can be stewards of love for others. Using our galing is a gift from you. Help us as we use these talents and abilities for your glory. May you help us keep this vigor within us to continue to refine and hone these abilities for the greater good. Grant us the humility to acknowledge that we do not own these talents. They are yours. Therefore, serving chances of your generosity and love. Using our talino, may you open our minds to endless possibilities of the world. May you guide us and lead us as we make decisions that will impact the lives of others. Shower us with the knowledge to navigate through trials and obstacles and the wisdom to lead with discernment. Compassion and empathy, God of love, you entrust upon us the treasures of the Holy Spirit for the common good May your blessings radiate from us to others in a new spirit of service. We ask this through our Creator, the light of the world. Amen. Amen. This program will not be possible without the support of these people. So at this point, we will be hearing special messages from them. To start, let us hear her welcome speech from our ever diligent and approachable assistant principal, no other than Ma'am Karen M. Santiago. Am 
I loud and clear? Yes, po, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So my heartfelt thanks, uh, of course, first to to Sir Jay Han and and to Sir Robert, also Sir Louis for hosting this event, and. A pleasant good morning once again to all of our SSG officers who are here today for your oath taking, you know, for your induction and oath taking. So, uh, I just want to uh, extend our support for whatever undertakings you may have. Uh, always remember that the office of the assistant principal and the principal will always be here to support you. As we all know that the Supreme Student Government uh, always aims to lay the groundwork for unity and cooperation among students. So we will, uh, you will be the one to provide them a venue wherein uh, your co-students will uh, can improve their their abilities through your leadership. Diba? So the student council can uh, can also contribute to the learning, the learning environment. For example, you, you'll be the one to set up goals. You'll be the one to set up uh, homework clubs or any other clubs that, that you may put up. At kami ang, ay nandito naman, to always guide you and support you. So, you student leaders should, uh, should always see to it that uh, mga leader kayo na mag-lead as example. You attend your classes regularly. You complete your homework, you show respect to your teachers, and all. Uh, that is what we are all expecting from you. So, uh, the student council also, or the student SSG, will help the other students to share their ideas and interests, and also your concerns with your teachers and also the, the administrators. So, again, uh, I would like to extend our support and congratulations prove to us that you really deserve the position that you have. So, once again, thank you and good morning. Thank you, Ma'am Karen. At this point, we will be hearing another special message, this time from our hardworking and another diligent principal and soft-spoken mother. No other than our school principal, Ma'am Marites S. Villahuan. Good morning, Ma'am. I, I think Sir Robert, uh, Ma'am Villahuan is still attending other other duties. So, in behalf of her, uh, she just want to extend that uh, her congratulations to our SSG officers. And pinapa extend din niya na sana daw ay gampanan ng ating mga, mga student leaders yung kanilang most important role, which is to be a good motivator who inspire other students. So why this is a, uh, the most important role of the SSG? Kasi daw, it shows that they can motivate and help others so that other students may do what they can also do. So, in behalf of Mama Rites Bilya One, uh, again, congratulations and and acknowledge always our support for you guys. Thank you, ma'am. Now, at this point, at this juncture, let us hear another message. Pro this time from PDO1 Youth Formation Coordinator. Ms. K. Astiliazo. Good morning, ma'am. May audible na po? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sorry po for the technical difficulty. Naka problem po yung sa laptop. Um, anyway po, once again, thank you so much po for that introduction. And to the supportive school heads of one or Liwag Memorial High School, um, Ma'am Karen Santiago, Assistant Principal, and Mamaritas Billy One, Principal Four, to Sir Jehan Edward Hernandez, the very dynamic teacher advisor of the Supreme Student Government, and to our young leaders and other attendees on this, on this board, a blessed morning to all of you. 
First of all, I would like to congratulate each one of you who are elected as Supreme Student Government of Juan Arliwag Memorial High School Senior High School for the school year 2021-2022. You were all chosen through votes of trust and confidence of your, of your fellow students, and we are confident that you've earned this trust through your previous achievements and accomplishments in your school. And we know that you will work diligently to fulfill your duties and responsibilities aligned with your positions. During the whole term of your, um, may you all continue to serve your school and be a good example by using your puso galing at talino. As cliche as it may sound, let me quote what we've all learned for our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. With great power comes great responsibility. We recognize your potential as leaders. And lastly, I hope that this virtual oath-taking ceremony will be successful up to the end. Thank you so much. Keep safe and may God bless us all. Thank you, Ma'am Kay. Now to give us the message of purpose for this significant event, let us all welcome the ever effective and efficient SSG advisor, no other than Sir Jehan Edward Z. Hernandez. And thank you so much, Sir Robert Manuel. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation to host this um, oath-taking ceremony of the Supreme Student Government Officers of Juan Arliwag Senior High School. To our dear principals, Ma'am Karen Santiago, Ma'am Martes S. Villijuan, our Division Youth Formation Coordinator, Ma'am Kay Astelliaso, our Supreme Student Government Officers, headed by Honorable Sandara Lorin Del Mundo, and of course, our inducting officer, my first SSG President, Honorable Raya Udesa Domingo, Juan Arliwag Memorial High School President and Division Federation of Supreme Student Government President 2019-2020. Good morning po. Today, we are here to formally bless and inculcate the values, goals, and objectives of the Supreme Student Government to these young leaders of Juan Arliwag Memorial High School Senior High School. It may be late because the organization has functioned already during the start of the academic year, but it is just right that we give them the ceremony to even more motivate them to accomplish what they need to accomplish. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought a lot of changes in each and every aspect of our day-to-day -day living. It affected everyone and everything, including our educational climate. We have shifted from the traditional setup of learning to the new normal setup. There were a lot of changes. There were a lot of barriers and hurdles. There were a lot of challenges. I myself almost gave up because of the demands of the new normal setup. Considering all these things, the Supreme Student Government didn't stop to take action on matters involving the rights and welfare of our learners. We have continuously provided an avenue for our learners to get engaged and participate. We have continuously set our roles as the voice of the youth, the voice of the voiceless, the marginalized, the oppressed, and the powerless sectors of our society. We have continuously set the standards of leadership for the school, the division, the region, and the National Federation of SSG. We have represented the school, the division, and the region to the National Federation of the Supreme Student Government to different levels, activities, and platforms. We started with Honorable Raya Udesa Domingo, our DFSSG President, 2019-2020, followed by Honorable Sir Nicolas Nico Balmonte, our DFSSG President, 2020-2021, our RFSSG President 2020-2021, and at the same time, our National Federation of Supreme Student Government Secretary 2020-2021. And of course, 
our second year in the National Federation of Supreme Student Government, Honorable Sandara Lorin Del Mundo, our current DF SSG President, our Regional Federation of SSG President, and our National Federation of SSG Treasurer and a student parliamentarian. With all those things we have accomplished, we will remain humble. We will continue our mandate to serve to even more achieve greater heights. Our student leaders, your role is very vital in the progress of the school. Your contribution is essential in providing conclusive learning or conducive learning environment for our learners in providing quality and accessible education for all. Our education is our journey in our respective organization will never be easy. There will be ups and downs. Maraming challenges, maraming pagkakataon na gusto mo nang sumuko. Madami tayong kailangan gawin mas talot ngayong panahon ng pandemya. Ngunit sa kabila Ngunit sa kabila ng lahat ng ito, naniniwala ako na hindi ito magiging hadlang upang tayo ay maglingkod sa One Ardiwag Memorial High School. Isipin natin na ginagawa natin ang lahat ng ito para sa kabataang Pilipino at para sa bayan. Masarap maglingkod, masarap bumangon sa umaga at iniisip mo yung mga naging contributions mo sa paaralan kung kaya't sana ay patuloy pang mag-alab ang inyong mga puso para sa kapakanan ng ating siktang paaralan. Ngayon po ay binabati ko po kayo ng isang magandang pagbati dahil kayo po ay part ng Supreme Student Government. Muli, isang maalab po na umaga sa inyong lahat. Ako si Jane Hernandez. Kasama ninyong lahat para sa kabataan Pilipino, para sa bayan at maraming salamat po. Thank you, Sir Jehan, for that very inspiring message of purpose. Truly, we are all doing this para sa kabataang Pilipino at para sa bayan. Now, before we proceed to the next part of our program, let us watch a short yet very inspiring video from DepEd TV. Paghinga ang dulot sa kanya ang kalmadong karagata. Para siyang hinihele sa musikang gawa ng mga ayaw. Pinatalo ang ingay ng mga palahaw at sigaw sa maghapon. Hinihilom ang mapapait na alaala ng kahapon. Yung takot, hikahos, pagkalunod ng pag-asang makapagtapos. Hanggang sa humupa ang mga pangamba. Sumilip muli ang liwanag sa lumubog na isla. Kaya't siya'y lumangod, humibabaw, Sumakay sa pinatibay ng bangka. Bitbit ang mas matibay pa ang pag-asa. Yung hindi kayang palubukin ng mga pangunusya, isinasagwa ng karunasan at mga aral na nabasa, naglalayag para sa kapakanan ng iba. Dumadaong sa pangpang ng katuwiran at tama. Siya, na pinatibay ng mga hampas ng ano. Na kahit lumipas man ang mahabang panahon, kinasasabikan pa rin niya ang pag-ahon ng tubig alat sa dalang pasigan. Kinamamanghaan pa rin niya ang paglubog ng araw sa hanggan. Paghinga pa rin ang dulot sa kanya ng kalmadong karagata. Kabisado pa rin niya kung paano idarawan ng dagat. Ang ganda ng dagat, no? Kulay asul, malalim, malawa. Kulay asul, simbolo ng kapayapa ang laging niyang hiling. Malalim, 
kasing kahulugan ng kanyang mga hangari. Malawak, tulad ng pangunawan mo sa anumang siya dito. Nakalipas man ang mahabang panahon, kabisado pa rin niya kung paano ilarawan ng dami. Kulay asul, malalim, at malawak. Patuloy tayong kumahanap ng solusyon. Hindi tayo tumigil sa paghahatid ng edukasyon. Mahirap at marami mong balakid. Hindi man perfecto, hindi man sapat sa ngayon. Magtulungan tayo upang sa bawat araw, unti-unti mapawi ang pangamba. ay balik ang saya at magbigay din hawa. Upang bawat sakripisyo ay masuklian ng tamang halaga, higayang walang patumbas sa piling niya. May mga araw na hindi natin ginusto, pero gagawa natin ng paraan ito. kong pag-ibig at hanggang ngayon sa iyo ako bumabalik ikaw ang pumupuno sa puso ko't isip mga salita mo ang dahilan ng pagkasabik nananabik 
Pumabalik ang mga alaala sa mula pagkabata. Pinapaalala mo sa akin si Ina at ang mga kwentong pinagsaluhan naming dalawa. Tala na Big, pumabalik. Sapagkat nasa iyong bantas sa dulo ng mga pangungusap, ikaw ang aking pahinga. Ang paglaya sa emosyong gustong kumawala mula sa mga tanong, sa patamdam, paghinto. Sa pagpapatuloy, paninigurado at mga baka siguro. Kaya sa pagkakataong ito, gusto kitang yakapin muli. Miss, gusto ko ulit maramdaman kung paano tayo nagsimula. Gusto kong balikan ang unang salita. Um, may borrow that book? Ah, uh, this one? Oo. Sana. Sure. Unang talata. Unang kabanata. Sapagkat ikaw ang una kong pag-ibig. Sa'yo ko unang naramdaman ng pagkasabik. Good morning, learners! Welcome to Zapped TV. Are you excited to learn a new story? Nananabig. Umabalik. Ikaw ang una kong pag-ibig. Thank you, Sir Louie. Thank you, Sir Louie. Uh, SSG officers, I hope you were inspired by the videos you have just watched. This time, we will have another inspiration from the former president of Federated Supreme Student Government of Gapan City, former managing editor of school's official publication, The Haring Mago, the former girl representative of GSP, GSP Nueva Ecija Council, the former ambassadors of Children's Museum Library Incorporated, Gapan City's representative of or Japan City's representative on Nation of Heroes Summit in 2019, and now currently taking business economics at University of the Philippines Diliman Extension in Pampanga. And she is now a member of External Affairs of UP Association of Economic Students. And our former president, of Supreme Student Government in school year 2019 and 2020. Thus, she is worthy to hold the torch to light the fire of challenge. Let us all welcome Honorable Raya Yudesa Domingo. Thank you so much for having me. I am very proud and honored to be here with you in this such special event. And in advance, I would like to congratulate you all. You are the new voice of, on your campus for hundreds, if not thousands of students. Being elected into the Supreme Student Government is one of the most exciting experiences in high school. Looking back, leading and participating in many school activities for a few of my favorite aspects. I was given once in a lifetime moments, of course with SSG, Girl Scout and journalism. I attended national events where I was able to obtain and impart knowledge. And not only I have learned, but I also got the chance to meet amazing people who changed my life for the better. With my passion for leading and being able to study in one of the best schools, Wonder Liwag Memorial High School, has given me a lot of opportunities, and I hope the same goes for you. 
It's a big step from being a student to responsible for arriving to class on time to being responsible for the whole student body. If you're bringing in a paper bag, realize that this is a common reaction that will eventually pass. You have each other's backs throughout this journey. You have teachers, an advisor, the principal, your friends. All of them will support you on this journey. You will share stories and relate experiences that will make you wiser. Being a student leader isn't always easy. The endless hours you'll put in attending activities, the late night evenings you'll spend at the office developing plans to see your platform fulfilled, and the challenges you haven't realized will be coming will all be worth it. Okay, remember natin. Despite the, despite the difficulties, serving in a leadership role is a rewarding experience that will teach you a lot about yourself and others. It will help you prepare you for future leadership responsibilities in your career, community, and citizenship. Katulad nga ng sinabi ni Sir Jayhan para sa bayan. Here's the advice I can share. No guts, no glory. You must have faith in yourself and stand up for the values that you hold dear. Accept change, face uncertainty, make your voice be heard, be bold, and dream big. I offer you the warmest welcome to your new roles at Warner Liwag Memorial High School Senior High School. And as, the pro and as the former president of Supreme Student Government, I wish you much success and personal fulfillment in your role. May the Holy Spirit guide you in all your decisions as you fulfill your mission of always doing what is best for the students. I look forward to seeing you all prosper. Congratulations. Thank you, Raya, for that inspiring message. Now, at this point, we will now proceed to the main part of this program, the taking of an oath. Before that, let us uh, recognize and call on the Supreme Student Government Officers, headed by of course, the President, Ms. Sandara Lorin C. Del Mundo. Vice President, Raymart A. De La Cruz. Secretary, Diana Beatriz G. Selga. SSG Treasurer, Janver F. Maliare. Auditor, Angela May C. Abubo. PIO. Roxim Jazel F. Reyes. P.O. Stuart V. Teban. And here are our grade 11 representatives. Miguel Rayleigh T. Mendoza. Ea Angeline Liabres. Justin Lee Catalan. Ezra Micaela Tadeo. Aisley Bernardino, Angela Cristel Soledad, Lujil Ann Jacinto, Raina Charis Yamswan, Jasmine Priya Laksamana, Joe Clifford Legaspi, Sean Riley Marcelo, and Jerome C. Cayabiab. And for our grade 12 representatives, we have Jeremy Panagsaga, Ashley Joy A. Matias, Nicole Alwin Tanlas, Laika Salvador, John Ray Cruz Inrian Sabat, Katrina May Pascual, and Sheena Linsanga. These are the students who bravely who will bravely take the responsibility of being the heads of our school, head students of our school. Now at this point, let me call on again our guest, Honorable Raya Yudesa Domingo to lead the oath. Please raise your right hand and open your mics. I state your name. Having been appointed to the position.
position of speaker position with my speaker position of the grade 11 grade 11 representative hereby solemnly swear that I will fulfill that I will I will discharge the best of my ability discharge to the best of my ability the duties of my present position the duties of my present position and of all others that I may hereafter hold and of and all of others, 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 others under the supreme student government under the supreme student government that i will bear true faith that i will bear true faith, 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 faith and allegiance to the same and allegiance to the same i will obey the laws Legal orders that I will increase promulgated by the duly constituted authorities. That I will obey the laws, legal orders, and increase promulgated by the duly constituted authorities of the Department of Education, Republic of the Philippines. Of the Department of Education, Republic of the Philippines. And that I impose. And, and that, that I, that I, I impose this obligation upon myself voluntarily. This, this obligation, this obligation upon myself voluntarily, 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 without mental reservation or purpose of the nation. Without I mental know, reservation or purpose of the nation. You may not lower your hand. Thank you, Raya, and congratulations to our student leaders, SSG officers. Now at this point, with the challenges given by our guest, Honorable Raya Yudesa Domingo, this time we will be hearing her ac acceptance of the challenge. Let us all welcome our SSG President, Honorable Sandara Loreen Del Mundo. To our former DF SSG and SSG President, Honorable Raya Domingo, our ABM Master Teacher One, and my ABM Class Advisor, Dr. Lourdes Ayo, our PDO One Youth Formation Coordinator, Ms. Kay Astiliazo, our school's Assistant Principal, Mrs. Karen Santiago, our dear school principal, Mrs. Marites Villawan, to my SSG advisor, Sir Jehan Hernandez, and to my co-SSG officers, a pleasant morning to each and every one of you. Let me tell you a story of a girl, a girl who was constantly trying to find her purpose, a girl who was worried that every time she spoke up, her voice would break. Before the pandemic, I was usually eager to join organizations or participate in competitions at my school. However, I would always want to play it safe. I didn't want to be in the spotlight since I was afraid of making a mistake while I was at it. To be honest, when this year's Supreme Student Government even started, I never really wanted to take the role of the president. Yes, I still wanted to be part of the SSG. I want to lead, I want to serve, but at the same time, I was still that girl who was still doubting her abilities. I was that girl who was afraid that her voice would break every time she would speak up. Just by thinking of becoming the president of our school, it would be an overwhelming feeling for me. I thought back. For this year, the school needed a new set of officers to lead the school. Sir Jehan approached and assigned me to become the president. Now this was just that overwhelming feeling I was thinking of earlier. I thought about it many times, there was a lot of what-ifs. And as the panganay of our family, I also have a lot of obligations at home. I am well aware that assuming the presidency would be a very difficult task for me. But there was this constant feeling that urged me to step out of my comfort zone and take on the challenge. That is why I am here now in front of you all, because I have decided to accept the challenge. I wasn't just because I wasn't just because I wanted to break out of my shell. My greatest passions were to lead and to serve. 
which I would always want to embrace today and in the future. I pledge myself to the, to the school, my division, my region and country, as well as to, today, as to today's youth, with arms held out and palms wide open. I am eternally grateful for that girl who had been searching for her purpose, had finally discovered what she was passionate about, and she would always try to speak and stand up for what is right, even if her voice fades. This is not the only time that we will face challenges. There are more and more to come. There would be times that would make you want to quit. It's okay to take a rest, but in times when you feel like you're lacking or thinking that you're not enough, Think about how proud your past self would be if they would see you now. Maraming salamat, Sir Jehan, Ms. K. Asiliazo, and to my co-SSG officers. Muli, para sa isang supreme student government na lagit laging para sa kabataan, para sa bayan, na may puso galing at talino. Sandara del Mundo, your supreme student government president. Thank you po. Thank you, Sandara, and congratulations. At this point, we will be hearing her closing remarks. Let us all welcome the ABM subject group head, no other than Dr. Lourdes P. A. Good morning po. Narinig ako, Sir Robert? Yes, ma'am. Loud and clear. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Again, good morning. Uh, it's been an honor, really, to be part of this oath-taking ceremony. Very yeah. remarkable indeed, especially for our young, dedicated, and promising SSD officers. Congratulations. We thank all the people who worked and lived extra miles to make this virtual oath-taking ceremony possible and made it splendid. Great job, everyone. Yay! I have learned three great principles from our church that I would like to share because for me, they are keystones in serving others. And those are, first, we should delight in service and good works. Second, we should love life and learning. And third, we should stand for truth and righteousness. We are in the era wherein true leaders are of utmost significance. What could be the single most important thing to God when choosing someone for an important role? In all ten times, God chooses someone who is close to him in spirit and whose heart is in line with his heart. It didn't matter how tall or good looking they were how much money they had, or how smart they were. It was about who they were on the inside. To our SSG officers and their very dedicated and hardworking advisor, Mr. Jehan Hernandez, we believe that your humility, love of service, and pure intentions will surely pave for better results in your endeavors as you are Leon's standard bearers. Sabi nga nila, leadership is service, not position. Maraming salamat po sa lahat at hiling natin sa Panginoon na maging ligtas, masaya, productivo at laging maligaya ang lahat. Thank you. Thank you, Ma'am Eyo. Indeed, leadership is service and not a position. At this point, let me end this program for this significant event with this quotation or this words from Skip Downing. By choosing to take responsibility for your life, you will immediately gain an increased power to achieve your greatest potential. So SSG officers, go and discover how powerful and great you are you truly are as you take your responsibility as our student leaders. And that ends our significant oath-taking ceremony. Congratulations and God bless everyone.
Thank you so much, Sir Robert. Thank you so thank much you, for sir. accepting my invitation. And I'd also thank like you, to thank our um, my first president, Raya. Thank you so much po. Sir Louie for the technical support. Maraming maraming salamat po. Palagi po kayo nandiyan. And of course, congratulations to my SSG officers. I hope that um, we will continue our mandate to serve our students. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much po. Picture taking po ba, ma'am? Sino po ba Sir Louie? Ayan, everyone, please open your cameras so we could take a picture as evidence that we have this oath taking ceremony. Again, po, madaming salamat for your attendance. Open cam po. Open camera po tayo lahat. Thank you po, Sir Louie. Okay na po. Okay. Ano, Sir? Yes, Sir. Thank you so much po, Sir Louie, Ma'am Karen, Ma'am Eyo, Sir Robert. Thank you so much Ma'am po. Kay, thank, you din, um, thank you din po. Sir Louie, next naman daw po ang ating EPTA OTTing ceremony. <laughs> thank you so much po. Babay po. Maraming maraming salamat po. Babay po. Congrats everyone!